Hello everyone. Now our next experiment is uh, by using the swing. So actually this is our last experiment uh, that is based on the swing concept. So here uh, we have to first study what is meant by the swing and what are the components or what are the um, points included in the swing concept. Now first what is the Java swing? Java swing is a part of the Java foundation classes that is used to create the window based applications and uh, it is uh, built on top of the AWT that is abstract windowing toolkit API and uh, it is entirely written in Java. Okay, so like uh, unlike the AWT, a Java swing provides the platform independent and lightweight components. So there is a package called is the the javax.swing package and provides the classes for the Java swing API like uh, J button, J text field, J text area, J radio button, J text box, J menu, J color chooser or uh, many more that is etc. So this is the swing definition. Now we are the hierarchy of the Java swing classes. So okay, there is the top class is the object, then component, then container class, window, J component, frame, J frame, dialog, J dialog. So again okay, the J component see here there are the J text, J combo box, J label, J panel. Okay, so we are discussing some of these um, J label or J text uh, in the later PPT. Okay, then so now what is the container class? The container classes are the classes that can that can have other components on it. So for creating a GUI that is graphical user interface, we need at least one of the container object. So here there are the three types of the containers. First one is the panel. It is a pure container. Okay, and the sole purpose or main purpose of this panel is to organize the components onto a window. The second panel is the frame. Frame it is a fully functional window with uh, including its title and icons. The next is the dialog. The dialog can be thought of like a pop-up window that pops out when a message has to be displayed. It is not a fully functional window like the frame. Now see the next uh, J frame. Now what is the J frame? J frame, a frame is an instance of the J frame. J frame class. So frame is an, uh, you can say that frame is a window that can have the title, border, menu, buttons, text fields, and several other components into the frame. And a swing application must have a frame because we have to include or we have to add the other components like uh, title, menu, buttons into the frame. Next, there is a J panel. A panel is an instance of a J panel. A frame can have more than one panels and each panel can have the several components. So uh, you can, uh, we can also call them parts of the frame. Okay. And the panels are useful for grouping components and uh, placing them to appropriate locations in a frame. So panels are used to group the components into uh, uh, to group the components together and uh, set a, a location into a frame. Next, J label. A label is an instance of the J label class. A label is unselectable text and the images. Suppose uh, you want to display a string or an image on a frame, then you can do this or you can do this by using these labels. Next, the, there is a J text field. So J text field is used for capturing the user inputs. Suppose you want to uh, capture any inputs or giving any user inputs, then J text field is used. So these are the text boxes where the user enters the data. Next, the J password field. So similar J password field is similar to the text field, but uh, there is a difference between the J text field and J password field. Because in J text field, uh, J text field, if you enter something, then it can be seen by the user. But 
in the j password field suppose you enter any data then it gets hidden and uh, displayed as dots on gui okay because uh, it is a uh, for security purpose uh, so, uh, it cannot be seen by other people then j button a j button a button is an instance of a j button class so there is a j button class is used to create a label button that has a platform independent implementations okay so these are the all the classes i have uh, 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 told all of you this information about this components now see here the example by using this classes okay so uh, there is a i have uh, there is a package ssc in the package i am importing the classes that is j button j frame j label j panel j password field and j text field because all these classes are required for this program <coughs> then there is a main method is there in the main method uh, the frame object is instance of the frame object uh, frame Uh, instance of the j frame class is created that is object of the j from uh, j frame class is created okay and uh, the name of the frame class is the login login there is a parameter then setting the width and height of the frame so the setting the width and height of this frame by using the set size method and we are giving the parameters that width and height uh, there are 315 200 now we are creating the panel here okay so panel uh, we are creating the panel object or instance of the j panel class here and uh, add this panel to the frame by we can add this panel to a frame by using the frame dot add that is add method is used here to uh, add the pa frame uh, panel into the frame now i am here calling the user defined method that is i have created a user defined method is i have called here to the panel then setting the frame visibility setting the frame visibility to true because if uh, we set this set visible to false then we can't see the window or we can't see the output so uh, you have to uh, frame set visible true always then uh, the whatever the uh, user defined method i have called here i have defined here that is uh, private static void that is place components and the parameter is the instance of the j panel class then <clears throat> there is a panel dot set layout it is null then creating the j label here see i am creating the label that is j label is class is there and user label is the object of that j label class and uh, the parameter is user then this uh, then uh, the set bounds method is used for the user label and the user label dot set bounds and there are the four parameters are there now see here this uh, method is used to specify the location and size of the component so this method specifies the location and uh, size of the label component so first two parameters are used for um, the location means uh, top left corner or uh, the specific position in the frame and the remaining two components and the remaining two components are used for the width and height of the components okay then um, in the panel we can add this user label by using the add next uh now creating the text field where the user is supposed to enter the username means suppose uh, we want to enter any name or uh, any text they can then at that time we can use the j text field class so there is a user text is a object is created of the j text field class and uh, there is a method set bounds is used for uh, location and a uh, location and width and height of that or uh, size of that j uh, text field so <clears throat> we can add this text field by using the method add into the panel same process is uh, continued or same process is applied for the j password label and the j password text field so here j password label is created password and the set bounds by using the four parameters are there 
location and size of that uh, component that is uh, label component then password label component and this password label component is add into the panel same for the j password field uh, i have set bounds here by using the four parameters that is first two parameters this is location and second two parameters are the size of that component that is width and height now again this add the password field or password text field into the panel by using the add same process uh, now i am creating the login button here so j button class is used and the object is created that is login button and the login password here uh, sorry parameter is login then uh, set bounds uh, four parameters location and width and add this login button into the panel by using the add method here okay so here is the end of the program now you can see the output see here this is a login frame okay see here you can see the uh, name of that frame that is login here and uh, this is a user label and this is a user text field you can enter the text here that is name and here password you can enter the password okay and this is the login button understood this is a login frame the name of the frame is login this is user label this is password label this is the user text field this is the password text field and this is the login button now after clicking the login button <laughs> we can't say anything because we um, we have not written any kind of code for the clicking of that button okay login clicking of that button